So thank you, Manju, for the excellent insight. Um, the first time I, I got to know about VMware was uh, when I joined EMC family, which was nearly about 10 years back. And that is when VMware actually was uh, bought over by EMC and, and they were looking at investing on the company. And uh, at that time, the VMware that we knew about was a company that was into compute, you know, sheer virtualization around server technology to look at. But interesting part, what you see today, the company that started off as a small player around server virtualization today addresses a huge spectrum of technology. You know, as Manju said, today the company addresses the entire uh, infrastructure, the public cloud perspective of that, the entire cloud perspective to add it. To add uh, to that, it also talks about the mobile devices connected on top of it, and of course, security. Right? What is striking here is, what is striking overall here is, you're, t you're talking about a software company taking over businesses or t you know, leading the opportunity of what has been traditionally been a stronghold for other companies. Right? You have storage, for instance, my parent company that I've been part of. Today, VMware is actually redefining the entire space. Security, for instance, you know, the, 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 the way we used to look at security, the entire thing has transformed. And, and we are we're seeing that perspective because we're seeing a rise of what we call as new next generation software companies. And I believe VMware actually has a big part to play. The company is growing. It's an opportunity for academia also to learn and at the same time, you know, impart that knowledge that we can, uh, you know, give it to our students. You know, my dream, I think we, we're probably five, ten percent uh, because, of, you know, first two years we took some, some time to set up the program, but I think going forward we can accelerate on some of those programs. So I'll just highlight a few things from, uh, from, from Manju's discussion. Now, you, you've heard a lot of softwares that he spoke about, you know. Uh, what, what, uh, what I wanted to reaffirm here is that most of the softwares that he spoke about are part of academy program. It is available on a store for academic use. Right, so we encourage you to actually, you know, subscribe for the store, download those softwares, and, and, and encourage your faculty and students to play around with the software within your infrastructure. You know, your college as such is a, is, is a company with a lot of complexity. You know, he spoke about a bank that touches billions of users today, but as such, your college, there are certain specific problems that, that, that can be addressed with these technologies. As a company, we are committed to uh, helping you with these softwares. So reach out to your ICT contacts or reach out to me. We can share you the information where, from where you can download these softwares. You know, build that ecosystem where uh, faculties and kids can actually play around with these softwares. Now, thanks to the new partnership with AWS, I was talking to uh, uh, the faculty from SREC. See, the earlier the problem was, you needed a high-end hardware to run VMware softwares. Now, thanks to all these uh, cloud partnerships, you don't really need to invest on these hardwares. VMware uh, uh, softwares will run on a cloud for you. You know, you buy, you pick up an AWS license, AWS license, all these VMware softwares can run on that. So please make use of all these opportunities that is there. You know, the software is there from us. I think it's just the, uh, you know, the, the, the ecosystem that we have to create where students, faculty, all of them will take it up from that. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about primarily is together with ICT, while Manju was talking about it, uh, we wanted to make a serious impact. Uh, next one year, uh, I think we should do it in the next 6 to 12 months' time, we would want to train another 500 new faculties. And that's a commitment for the country where we will invest on training for 500 faculties. And with this 500 and the 500 to 1,000 that we have trained in the last two years, we, will, we would want to qualify another 100 faculties to an advanced set of training programs. So next time when we meet, one year from now, you know, we are looking at 100 of those faculties who've been given the basic fundamental knowledge, uh, you know, pick up those skills in, with the advanced. Now this is very, very, this is actually very key for our country. You know, we've all spoken about college, uh, I think, but if you look at our uh, vision for, for our country for uh, being the skill destination of the world, and I've been talking about this in every place, what's most important is, the, the empowerment of faculty community. One of the reasons why I chose Coimbatore over any other place 
uh, in the country to be, a, we could have done it easily in Bangalore. Sir, we, could have, we would have invited, love to host you in Bangalore. But one of the reasons why we love to do it in Coimbatore is, this is where teaching is one of the most respected professions in the country. And people in Coimbatore, you should take pride. For me, as an outsider, when I come to Coimbatore, I, I, that's the first thing that I come in. You know, I've, I've spoken to professors from uh, 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 Bangalore. You know, they say we get, we get overshadowed by IT professionals. No, that does not, you know, here, this is one of the respected professions. It is, you know, the faculty or the teacher community is given with a lot of respect. And I would want this to be accepted across the country. And one of the best ways I can contribute or together with ICT, we can contribute is by empowering the faculty. So next one year, 500 additional faculties will be trained. We will also invest on another 100 faculties who would be made champions on certain technologies to look at. Now, the whole idea is if they, they, they get inspired, I'm sure they have a big set of students whom they can go ahead and inspire. And that's going to help our country in the long run. The other key initiative which we launched last year, I don't know if you're familiar, uh, we've all been talking about certification for quite some time. You know, we've been talking about industry certification, everything. But with LinkedIn, social media picking up, the industry has slow, slowly moved on from the traditional certification portfolio to what we call as digital badges. Of course, digital badges has been in the market for a long time. Mozilla has an open source project around it. But yes, but we're seeing a wider acceptance for digital badges. And we're happy to tell you that uh, four months back, we were the first few companies in the market to actually open it out to academia. And we've seen some tremendous rep response for digital badges. Now, the whole, whole, whole idea of a digital badge is that, see, today you've taken a course with me. I'll give you a certificate. I'll give you a physical certificate. And 10 years down the line, if you come back to me, it's impossible for me to track what you've done with me. Now, thanks to digital badges, you have a profile, you have, uh, you have a profile, it tracks each and every course. So even 10 years down the line, if you come, and come back to me and tell me that, Rajesh, I've taken a course with you 10 years back, it's easy for somebody to verify. It's good for the faculty, it's good for the student community, overall for the ecosystem, that's good. And I think we are among the first few companies in the market to actually say that let's open it out to academia. And I think that's going to be a big transformation for people. You know, next time when some company would come in to hire, they would actually look at these skills. You know, you don't have to go and cross-verify something. There is a profile, there are badges which are assigned for certain activities, it describes what it is. So if you have faculties who have taken up classes with us, please go ahead and uh, uh, you know, ensure you get those digital badges. We have a MOOC program that we have been running. You know, people who have completed those MOOC programs, they've been issuing digital badges. Faculties who have been attending trainings with us. So, so ideally by this time, if you've been actively participating with us, you would have acquired four to five badges. Four to five badges, and that's a, cred you know, a credential that you can carry with you for the next year, and it's going to continue with you for the rest of the life. So I think that's something that's, that will benefit the entire ecosystem, and hopefully that should do. Uh, yeah, and overall, uh, one last request here is, of course, I spoke about projects, but I wanted also to look at something. Uh, private universities, uh, state universities, if you have the flexibility to bring some of these courses into the program, we are giving you the software, we have the training enabled for you, please make use of it. You know, uh, gone are those days uh, uh, where, you know, universities used to stick to technology. Now we need to understand that, you know, there are products which are uh, products that can be brought in. So if you have that flexibility in that university, we are committed to that. And I hope in the next coming years, we will s seriously make a lot of imp uh, impact to the society together with ICT. Uh, we've done a decent job today, but I, I dream bigger and hopefully with the faculty community here, you know, your effort, we can change the perspective of our country. Today we are looked at a country with cheap workforce. In the next one or two years, let's make our country proud and let's make our country a skill destination of the world. Skill destination which has new skill sets or unique skill set which the rest of the world does not have. And I think each one of you in this hall has a unique role to play. So, Please go ahead and contribute uh, for our society. And I think we all, this is the best way we can give it back to our country. And I hope we can uh, do that. So, so we will, can we do the appreciation? Yeah. So, so we have, uh, I'll, I'll just set the tone for the appreciation even. Uh, the whole idea was every year going forward, we would want to honor some of the academies, individuals uh, who have really made difference for us in the ecosystem who have taken lead. And this, this is also an opportunity for us to thank you. So, uh, I leave it to Anbu to uh, 
to to start off with the uh, appreciation day because i'll have a volume problem and an audio problem also so maybe anbu you can take it over for me thank you so much